Turkish friends, uh, welcome to my uh, media beer free card book tag. Uh, uh, when I saw the uh, videos of uh, this tag uh, from my friends on my feed, I was very very surprised. I have been uh, very busy in the uh, previous two months and I actually could not watch uh, many booktube videos during this time because I will have more time uh, this month and next month. Uh, I cannot wait to uh, watch uh, all of your videos, uh, especially this tag, because I love both watching and recording this tag. Uh, the original video and the creator is no longer active, so I will only put two questions down below. Uh, the first question is, uh, best book uh, you read uh, so far in 2022? Uh, just for this question, I have uh, two books. Uh, the first one is uh, Ince Mehmet, uh, Mehmet My Hope by Yashar Kemal. Uh, and the second uh, one is uh, The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Clue. I gave uh, both of these books uh, 10 out of 10, uh, which is uh, very rare for me. And I highly recommend you uh, to read these wonderful books. Uh, question two. Uh, best best sequel you read so far in 2022 uh, i will repeat myself but uh, the best uh, sequel is uh, inja mehmet uh, 2 uh, which is uh, translated as and the thistles burned uh, by yashar kemal again uh, i actually think that uh, this book is uh, better than uh, the first one uh, maybe because uh, i have encountered uh, the wonderful writing of yashar kemal in the first book uh, I think my favorite book is still uh, the first one, uh, but this one is also a wonderful uh, sequel to a wonderful book. Question 3. New release you haven't read yet, but want to. Uh, I will uh, repeat uh, the answer that I gave in a uh, quarterly year book tag. Uh, the Diamond Eye by Kate Queen. I still haven't read that book, but I plan to whenever I can find it on my audiobook library. Uh, question for uh, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Of course, I've looked at uh, the new releases uh, in the internet for these questions because, uh, as you know, I don't follow new releases at all. Uh, but I, I found a very interesting uh, book. Uh, which is called uh, Marple 12 New Mysteries by uh, 12 Contemporary Mystery Authors, including Naomi Alderman, Lee Bardigo, Alyssa Cole, Lucy Foley, Ellie Griffiths, Natalia Haynes, Jean Walk, uh, Wal McDermott, Karen McManus, mm -hmm. Derada Say Mitchell, Kate Moss, and Ruth Ware. Uh, I cannot wait to read this book because, uh, you know, my love for Agatha Christie and uh, it will be very fun to compare who catches the spirit of Agatha Christie and Miss Marple the best. Uh, question 5. Uh, biggest disappointment. Uh, it is Willet by Charlotte Bronte. Uh, because I love Jane Eyre so much, uh, I was expecting much more from this book. Uh, uh, and uh, the best part about uh, this book was uh, the blood reading experience that I had with Amy at Zobeck because we messaged in detail about uh, what we liked and what we didn't like about the book and uh, I thought it was a very enriching experience. Uh, uh, the book uh, had uh, good characters uh, but the plot was moving very very slow and the ending was actually a bit uh, disappointing. Uh, question six, uh, biggest surprise. Uh, I think uh, it is the uh, it, it is a book that I read for my real life book club, The Door by Magda Zabo. Uh, when I read the synopsis of the book, I thought uh, that uh, I think I will DNF this book, but but I actually enjoyed uh, reading this book very much and uh, was uh, quite engaged in the, both the characters and the plot. Uh, question seven, favorite new author. Devote or new to you? Uh, of course, it's Yashar Kemal, uh, but, but I will include an author from a very different genre. Uh, I read uh, one novella and uh, two books from uh, Catherine Kennedy, uh, a historical romance author that I've discovered uh, through uh, book sirens. And I thought her books were, a very, were very good examples of a sweet uh, and clean historical fiction romance. 
Uh, question 8. Uh, newest fictional crush. Uh, he is much more younger than me, but uh, the closest answer that I can come to is Captain Thorn in uh, Crest by Marissa Meyer. I thought he was a delightful character uh, to read about, and I really enjoyed his uh, sweet romance with uh, Cress. Um, question 9. Uh, newest favorite character. Uh, it is the light song in White Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I really liked uh, his character development in this book. Uh, and uh, the fact that he had many dualities uh, in, his, uh, in his feelings and his thoughts made him much more relatable. Uh, to the reader. Uh, I will read this book with uh, three girls, uh, Gaia, Amy and uh, Tara. And I think we, we all loved uh, Light Song dearly. Uh, question 10. A book that made you cry? Uh, I didn't cry so much this year, but uh, uh, but I had tears in my eyes when I was listening to The Shape of Thunder by Jasmine Marga. It had a very emotional moments uh, and uh, it was a uh, very powerful middle grade book. Question 11. A book that made you happy. Uh, it is certainly A Bear Called Paddington by Michael Bond. Uh, aside from the uh, wonderful width of the book, uh, I thought the fact that Stephen Fry narrated this book uh, made the, the book much more enjoyable uh, for me to listen to it. Uh, I cannot wait to listen to the rest of the series from Stephen Fry. Uh, question 12. Uh, most beautiful book you bought so far this year or received? Uh, it is Such Örgüsü by Leticia Kalombani. Because I'm right now in my summer house, uh, I will put the picture, uh, but, I, but I still own that uh, wonderful uh, paperback cover. The last question is, uh, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Uh, like I mentioned last year, I don't think uh, I need to read any of the books. I read uh, books for my enjoyment. So need is a very uh, strong word. Uh, but I will talk about uh, the books that I'm planning to read uh, for my big books but read project. Uh, in the months of uh, July and August, uh, I will read uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susan Clark. Uh, I plan to start the book uh, on the tent. Uh, so if you want to buy read this book with me, please leave a comment down below. I, I plan to read Helter Skelter by Vincent Bugliosi in the months of uh, September and October. And uh, I plan to read uh, The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara King Solver in the months of November and uh, December. So those were my answers for uh, mid-year freak out book tag. Uh, like I said before, I just love uh, this tag and uh, see uh, what the other booktubers are saying for the, for the questions. I plan to do much more extensive evaluation of my reading and uh, my reading goals uh, in the first uh, half of uh, 2022 in another video. Please comment down below if you want to read uh, any of the books uh, that I mentioned for my big books but read project. And if you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye. As for Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose diamond. Diamond means elmas in Turkish. And elmas is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.